somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at one that's been highly requested from a number of you on both Patreon and the YouTube members. We're taking a look at Coco. This one's from 2017, and I have no idea what I'm getting into, so this one should be a lot of fun. Exactly. Same here. First time watching. Don't know what to expect, so I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to find out. All I know is we got a, a young gentleman with his guitar and a goofy looking dog, which already makes me happy. I'm excited for this one. Came really All cool. right, let's go! Sometimes I think I'm cursed. Because of something that happened before I was even born. The papa, he was a musician, but he also had a dream to play for the world. And one day, he left with his guitar and never returned. She didn't have time to cry over that walk away musician. <laughs> After banishing all music from her life, she rolled up her sleeves and she learned to make shoes. She could have made candy or sparkly underwear for wrestlers. Hey! She Lucha. chose shoes. It's hoping for Lucha Libre. <laughs> then she taught her daughter to make shoes. She taught her son-in-law. Music had torn her family apart, but shoes held them all together. You see, that woman was my great-great-grandmother, Mama Imelda. <laughs> look at the picture. <laughs> but oh, my dude, family still so tells a story <laughs> every year on Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. How are you, Julio? Actually, my name is Miguel. <laughs> Mama Coco has trouble remembering things. And the winner is... Hey! 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 Oh, look, oh. she's got a mask on. Oh, the has got a mask on. My abuelita, she's Mama Coco's daughter. Like more tamales. See? <laughs> That's what I thought you said. <laughs> I wouldn't be saying no. No music. <laughs> 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 I think we're the only family in Mexico who hates music. But me? Be back by lunch, Miko. Love you, Mama. I am not like the rest of my family. <laughs> the air guitar. I love the, the use of colors in this. Yeah, it really like, right brightens it up. I mean, the animation yeah. is, of course, top notch. Hey, 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 hey. Gotta have a dog, right? <laughs> <laughs> you get a boy, Dante. Ernesto de la Cruz. The greatest musician of all time. He started out a total nobody from Santa Cecilia. He starred in movies. <laughs> <laughs> he could fly. I'm he wrote the best songs. He lived the kind of life you dream about. <laughs> Until 1992. Oh no, no, no. Wow. I want to be just like him. Oh, what? what? <laughs> Jeez. Little, uh, little graphic there, Disney. Muchacho, huh? I asked for a shoe shine, not your life story. <laughs> <laughs> I'd march right up to my family and say, Hey, I'm a musician. Deal with it. I only really play for myself. Ah, uh, mira, mira. They're setting up for tonight the music competition for Dia de Muertos. You should sign up. Uh uh. My family would freak. Look, if you're too scared, then well, have fun making Kinda shoes. Kind of sounds like Carlos Mencia a little bit, but mm -hmm. I don't know. No. No, it's not him. I don't think so. Show me what you got, muchacho. Well, let's see it. Oh, big moment. Miguel. Big moment. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. What did he say to you? He was just showing me his guitar. <gasps> Shame on you. I don't, he wants no part of your music, Mariachi. You keep away from him. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. You will come home now. No, 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 no. Go away, you. Go. It's... <laughs> oh, you're a whimper. I found your son in Mariachi Plaza. Miguel. I was just shining shoes. Notice how they didn't say how we feel about it, how Abuelita feels about mm -hmm. it. Whoa! <laughs> They're having this talent show. You have to have talent. What are you gonna do? Shine shoes? Oh, tonight is about family. Friend the room. Vámonos. Family. Family. The de los Muertos is the one night of the year our ancestors can come visit us. We've put their photos on the ofrenda so their spirits can cross over. 
That is very important. All this work to bring the family together. <laughs> Where are you going? I thought we were done. I... <laughs> being part of this family means being here for this family. I don't want to see you end up like... Like Mama Coco's papa? Never mention that man. Papa is home. Mama. Oh. 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 It's okay. I'm here. Who are you? <laughs> I'm hard on you because I care, me. Miguel. What are we going to do with that boy? That's just what he needs. Folks, let us know if there's any Easter eggs in that last scene we should have caught from maybe oh. some other movie. That tongue. All right, I could just watch a movie about Dante. Oh, it's you. I love. <laughs> that tongue. <laughs> Those eyes. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh wow. It's from Ernesto. His hero. <laughs> <laughs> the music, it's it's not just in me. It is me. Me now. I play my guitar. Mm. My heart. Oh, look at him. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's been watching. Yeah. Oh, oh hey, what? Guys, this animation is it's, incredible. It's mm -hmm. top notch. I had to have faith in my dream. No one was going to hand it to me. Grab it tight and make it come true. No more hiding, Dante. I gotta seize my moment. Dia de los Muertos has begun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mama, where should we put this table? See, <laughs> next to the other one. Get under, get under. <laughs> Miguel, uh, nothing? Your abuelita had the most wonderful idea. We've all decided it's time you joined us in the workshop. Carrying on the family tradition. Oh, and on oh, the oh, other oh. Muertos, your ancestors will be so proud. Oh. You have your family here to guide you in a Rivera. Is a shoemaker through and through. That's my boy! Ha ha! Dante! That's what they do! That's what they do, they look at you and then they try to eat faster. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 No, 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 no! Oh, no. no. Oh. It's folded. It was him. That's the Dela guitar. Cruz's guitar? Papa. Ernesto de la Cruz? Papa. What a reveal. Uh, uh, you know, I thought maybe, but. Yeah. I know who my great great grandfather was. Mama Coco's father was Ernesto de la Cruz. What are you talking about? I'm going to be a musician. Nah. Oh, no. Oh, no. His cat with crazy fantasy. It's not a fantasy. The greatest musician of all time. Or he could have just had a guitar that looked like him. Mm. They may have sold them. Yeah. You said my family would guide me. I'm supposed to play music. Never. That man's music was a curse. No more music. You want to oh. wake up like that man? Oh. Forgot me. She gonna smash Left it? Your family's ofrenda. I don't care if I'm on some stupid ofrenda. <gasps> <gasps> Mama! Yep. Oh no. I don't want to be in this family! I want to play in the plaza, like De La Cruz. You got an instrument? Uh, no, uh, but if I can borrow a guitar. Musicians gotta bring their own instruments. Uh, you'll find a guitar kit. I'll put you on the list. Ask your buddy that was there. Yeah. Can I borrow your guitar? Sorry, muchacho. I need a guitar just for a little bit. Get out of here. Where's his buddy? Great, great grandfather. What am I supposed to do? Oh, there you go. That's what you do. Oh, this I can't get over the colors and the imagery of yeah, this so animation. Good. No, no, no. Daddy, stop. Look at me. Oh, he's going oh. after the guitar. Oh, not just a guitar. <laughs> the guitar. 
Ah, uh, wait I'm for sorry. a loud one. Wait for a loud one. <gasps> oh, <laughs> careful there, pal. Oh, I like the way they did the little dust on it. Yeah. Senor de la Cruz, please don't be mad. Uh, I'm Miguel, your great great grandson. I need to borrow this. Our family thinks music is a curse. None of them understand, but I know you would have. So, if it's all right with you, I'm gonna play in the plaza. Mm. I think that's he gave him his blessing. <laughs> no, what it looks like. De la Cruz is like. What? what the... Nobody here. What is he like in some kind of spirit world? Super confused right now. <laughs> Little boy, are you okay? Thanks. All the. I. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's in the spirit world yeah. now. Great grandfather gonna show up? Look how big she's getting. <laughs> you can see me? Not <laughs> this! <laughs> Miguel, Miguel! Here, here! And you can see us? Oh, <laughs> Tia Rosita? Si! Tia Victoria? <laughs> he doesn't seem entirely dead. It's Mama Imelda. She couldn't cross over. <gasps> She's stuck on the other side. Tio Oscar? Tio Felipe? Oh, look at that. Oh. Whoa. This isn't a dream then. You're all really out there. You thought we weren't? Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. But those are real alebrijes, spirit creatures. Agents, Department of Family Reunions are available to assist you. Have a great visit. Yes. Yeah. Your photos are your dentist's ofrenda. Enjoy your visit. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias. Well, shoot. Looks like no one put up your photo. That... That was a lie. And I apologize for doing that. No photo on an ofrenda. No crossing the bridge. You know what? I'm just gonna zip right over. You won't even know I'm gone. Almost there. Oh. Oh, he can't. Absolutely. Fine. Okay. Fine. Who cares? Anything to declare? Uh, as a matter of fact, yes. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my nose. We are not visiting your ex-wife's family. <laughs> <laughs> Mi familia. They wouldn't let me cross the bridge. We, we, we never made it to the ofrenda. <laughs> what? We ran into a... Um, um, <laughs> Miguel? Oh, he's got the photo. Yeah, that's right. Well, your curse. You stole from the dead. But I wasn't stealing the guitar. Guitar. It was my great great grandfather's. He would have wanted me to have it. Ah, ah, ah. We do not speak of that musician. I'm sorry. Uh, who's Alebrije is that? That's just Dante. He sure doesn't look like an Alebrije. He just looks like a plain old dog. Terribly allergic. But Dante doesn't uh. have any hair. Drop a comment if you had that green desk lamp as a kid. <laughs> you took my photo of the ofrenda? Well, it was an accident. How do we send it back? The way to undo a family curse is to get your family's blessing. That's it? Get your family's blessing and everything should go back to normal. Should. But you gotta do it by sunrise. What happens at sunrise? Híjole, your hand. Huh? Oh. Little oh. back to the future. Back to the future. Family's here. You can get your blessing right now. Now, you look at the living and say his name. Miguel. Nailed it. Now say, I give you my blessing. I give you my blessing. I give you my blessing to go home and to never play music again. What? She can't do that. Well, technically, she can add any condition she wants. Then you hand the pedal to Miguel. Whoa. No skeletons. <laughs> Here I come. Oh. <laughs> Straight back in there. Oh, no. This isn't fair. It's my life. You already had yours. 
tía Rosita? Oscar? Uh -huh. You go for my way or no way. You really hate music that much? I will not let you go down the same path he did. He's family. Listen to your mama. Email. She's fine. I am. Him. Find him. Need to visit the restrooms. Yeah, but how do you find them? Vamos. I, I, I found that little boy. Oh, boy. Excuse me. Excuse me, folks. Excuse me. Oh. Daddy. They're being thieves. You need to clean up your act, amigo. Amigo? And amigos, they help their amigos. Oh, you like De La Cruz? He and I go way back. So I'm letting you off with a warning. Some amigo. You really know De La Cruz? Who wants to? <laughs> You're alive. Yeah, I'm alive. And if I want to get back to the land of the living, I need the Lacruz's blessing. That's weirdly specific. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're going back to the land of the living. You can help me. We can help each other. But most importantly, you can help me. Miguel! I'm Edgar. Uh, that's nice. Yeah? Yeah, he's just got the arm. Espera, bitch, Marco! He is going to get himself killed! Whoa. Oh, of course. Who has that pedal, Miguel Touch? <laughs> like, no, more like a panther. He's got f wings, tail. Look up, a ver, a ver. Look up, up, up. There is a doorknob. Yeah. So listen, Miguel. When you're well remembered, people put up your photo, and you get to cross the bridge and visit the living on Dia de Muertos. No one's ever put up my picture. But you can change that. This is you? Eh, muy guapo, eh? <laughs> One hiccup. Bela Cruz is a tough guy to get to, and I need to cross that bridge soon, like tonight. So you got any other family here, you know? Someone a bit more eh, accessible? Mm, nope, only De La Cruz. Okay, okay, kid, fine, fine. I'll get you to your great great grandpa. You know, he's a he's a busy man. Blending <laughs> <laughs> in? No, skeletons don't walk like that. It's how you walk. Is Nisto De La Cruz's sunrise spectacular? Every year, your great great grandpa puts on the dumb show to mark the end of Dia de Muertos. And you can mm. get us in. That, that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you better have my dress, Hector. Hola, Ceci. Oh. Hola. <laughs> Dante. We shouldn't be in here. <laughs> Classic monkey riding a dog. Oh, the mighty show, low dog. In uh. whose spirit have you guided to me? I don't think he's a spirit guide. Uh uh uh. The alebrijes of this world can take many forms. They are as mysterious as they are uh. powerful. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and from the darkness, a giant papaya. And the dancers are all me. They go to drink from the milk of their mother, who is a cactus, but who is also me. And her milk is not milk, but tears. It could use some music. Oh, uh, what if you did like, tum, 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 and then it could go, da -da 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 You, you have the spirit of an artist. slept. <laughs> <laughs> and Ernesto de la Cruz rises to the stage. Well, uh, he does a couple of songs, the sun rises, everyone cheers. Excuse me, where's the real De La Cruz? Ernesto doesn't do rehearsals. He's too busy hosting that fancy party at the top of his tower. That's where you gotta get. <sighs> oh, look at his hands. Come on, stop pestering the celebrity. You said my great great grandpa would be here. He's halfway across town throwing some big party. That bum. Hey, Gustavo, oh, you know well. anything about this party? It's the hot ticket. But if you're not on the guest list, you're never getting in. Chorizo. Hey, it's Chorizo. Ah, very funny. <laughs> go on, go on. Ask him how he died. He choked on some chorizo. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> If you really want to get to Ernesto, there is that music competition at the Plaza de la Cruz. Winner gets to play at his party. If you I think... need to get my great-great-grandfather's blessing. You know where I can get a guitar? I know a guy. Have you found him, Pepita? Have you found that boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Wow, that's convenient. That, that's easy. So, how far is this guitar anyway? We're almost there. <laughs> uh, I don't think Keep Miguel up, can do that. Come on. Just take the steps. There you go. These people are all your family? We're all the ones with no photos or friends. No family to go home to. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, I think I know Quinn's favorite part of this movie so far. Buenas noches, chicharron. I don't want to see your stupid face. I, I brought you a little offering. Get out of here. Me and my friend Miguel. Hmm. We really need to borrow your guitar. My guitar? Like the time you promised to bring back my band? Uh, my lasso? My fever? Oh, oh, oh. I'm fading. Oh, into... well, nobody remembers you. Play me something. No, you, you know I don't play anymore, Cheech. The guitar's for the kid. You want it? You got to earn it. Only for you, amigo. It sounds a tiny bit like, um... Like the guy who played Bucho in Desperado was also the, the, the bad guy in Fast Five. Oh, yeah. Sounds just a little bit like but, him. Knuckles, they drag <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Those aren't the words. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It brings back memories. Gracias. Oh, oh he's fading away. Oh, no. Did he fade away because nobody remembered no, him? Yeah, nobody has a picture of him up and remembers him. That's why he wants to get back to have his picture put up so it doesn't happen to him. Oh, he's afraid that if he doesn't get it tonight. When there's no one left in the living world who remembers you, you disappear from this world. Where did he go? Our memories, they have to be passed down by those who knew us in life. But there's no one left alive to pass down Chicha's stories. Come on, De La Cruzito. You've got a contest to win. Well, that's not going to work for him either because he didn't meet him when he was alive. So even if Miguel gets back and put his well, picture up, is it even going to Yeah, matter? but he, he, he never met his great-great-grandmother either, but she can still give the blessing. Yeah. Family can still give blessing. Mm. You played with Ernesto de la Cruz, the greatest musician of all time? Oh, greatest eyebrows of all time, maybe, but his music? Mm. Eh, not so much. Welcome to the Plaza de la Cruz. Hello, <laughs> Who's ready for some music? The winner gets to play for the maestro himself. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the plan? Well, what are you gonna play? Definitely remember me. No, oh, look out one No. Come on, it's his most popular song. Ah, for remember me. Ah, everybody's gonna uh, know that. Oh, what about Poco Loco? Epa, now that's a song. You're on standby. Los Chachalacos, you're up next. They're pretty good. Mm. You always this nervous before a performance? I don't know. You said you were a musician. I, I am. <laughs> but he's always just done it in front of his TV. I'll go up. No, I need to do this. Why? If I can't go out there and play one song, how can I call myself a musician? What does that matter? Because I don't just want to get De La Cruz's blessing. I need to prove that, that I'm worthy of it. That's such a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> First, you have to loosen up. Shake off those nerves. Uh, now, give me your best <laughs> grito. My best grito? Come on, yell. Belt it out. <laughs> De la Crucito, you're on now. Miguel, look, you can do this. Grab their attention and don't let it go. Oh boy. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> well, and here I thought he was going to be the villain of the movie. What was oh, I there's thinking? the villain. He's close. Find him. <laughs> <laughs> Seen a living boy? His face painted. He's disguised. You did good. I'm proud of you. Hey, where are you going? We gotta get out of here. What? I have an emergency announcement. Please be on the lookout for a living boy. Answers <laughs> to the name of Miguel. They just want to send him back to the land of the living. You said that La Cruz was your only family. 
the only person who could send you home. I do have other family, but... You have taken my photo back this whole time? But they hate music. I'm not gonna miss my one chance to cross that bridge because you want to live out some stupid musical fantasy. It's not stupid. I'm taking you to your family. <laughs> Just like everybody else. Keep your dumb photo. No, no, no. Stay away from me. Hey, Tobacco. Oh. He needs him. Yep. But when he told him his music was stupid, he's like, oh, you're just like everybody yeah. else. I'll do it myself. No, Dante, stop it. Dante, stop. Yes, you're, oh. guy, you're just a dumb dog. Oh. It's that leaving boy. I heard about you. I think Dante is a spirit guide. I think he is too. This nonsense ends now. I am trying to save your life. You're ruining my life. What? Music's the only thing that makes me happy. Aunque la vida me cuesta. I thought you hated music. Oh, I loved it. When my husband would play and I would sing and nothing else mattered. But when we had Coco, suddenly there was something in my life that mattered more we each made a sacrifice to get what we wanted why can't you be on my side that's what family's supposed to do support you but you never will that's that was pretty good right there oh el santo yeah. Yeah, i'm a big fan it's a world famous luchador <laughs> that's Gracias, a big joke. <laughs> I guess that's how you do selfies. It's okay. I'm Ernesto's great great grandson. <laughs> hey, musician to musician, I need a favor. Competition winners. Congratulations, Jacobs. They got See him in the, the drum. drum. Uh, better than a popcorn machine. Ah. Wait a minute. Wait to make a topical comment. Oh, though. they put him in the tuba. <laughs> Even well, even better. Topical comment that'll live, live forever there, Quinn. Our <laughs> nerves on him. This movie makes me hungry. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the guitar shaped pool. Dante the is a horse? Name was Dante? Or did he name the dog Dante after the horse? Maybe that's what it was. This music is my language. This music is my language. <laughs> ah, you almost oh. had it. Uh, it's you. Know about me? <laughs> you are all anyone has been talking about. I'm Miguel, your your great great grandson. I have a great great grandson. I need your blessing so I can go back home and be a musician just like you. With a talent like yours, how could I not listen? <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> it is an honor, Senora. Gracias. You know, <laughs> that's I thought. I thought but, it was Frida. I didn't want to assume with the unibrow, yeah. but I was like, okay, it's yeah. got to be Frida, yeah. right? Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. All of these came from my amazing fans. They leave me more offerings than I know what to do with. You look overwhelmed. I've been looking up to you my whole life. You're the guy who who actually did it. But did you ever regret it, choosing music over everything else? It was hard. Leaving your family? See, si, one cannot deny who one is meant to be. And you, my great-great-grandson, are meant to be a musician. You and I, we are artists, Miguel. We cannot belong to one family. <laughs> oh, the fireworks have begun. Well, we gotta get the blessing with the leaf, remember? Yeah, yeah. it's a uh, tick-tock. You must come to the show. You will be my guest of honor. I can't. I have to get home Whoa. before sunrise. Oui. I am sorry to see you go, Miguel. I hope you die very soon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what I mean. I give you my blessing. We had a deal, Chamaco. Oh, Frida. I thought you couldn't make it. You said you'd take back my photo. 
You promised, Miguel. I just met him tonight. He told me he knew you. Put my photo up. You're being forgotten. And whose fault is that? Hector, please. Those were my songs you took. Oh, oh what? You want to tell him? Or should I? Hector, we made a great team, but you died, and I... I only sang your songs because I wanted to keep a part of you alive. Oh, how generous. I just want you to make it right. Remember the night I left? That was a long time ago. We drank together, and you told me you would move heaven and earth for your amigo. I'm asking you to now. Heaven and earth? Like in the movie? What? That's Don Hidalgo's toast. In the De La Cruz movie, El Camino a Casa. Oh, I'm talking no. about my real life, Miguel. No, it's in there. Look. I would move heaven and earth for you, mi amigo. Poison! Oh, he thought it was no. food poisoning. We'd been performing on the road for months. I got homesick, and I packed up my songs. You'll manage. I can't do this without your songs, Hector. I'm going home, Ernesto. Oh, he wow. did it. <sighs> I'm sending you off with a toast. I would move heaven and earth for you, mi amigo. You walked me to the train station, but I felt a pain in my stomach. I thought it must have been something I ate. Perhaps it was that chorizo, my friend. Or something I drank. What a uh, bombshell. You poisoned me. I never thought that you might have. That you... <gasps> you. How could you? Hector. Security! You rat! <sighs> have him taken care of. I just wanted to go back home! Oh, no. You were going to give me your blessing. Yes, uh, my reputation. Very important to me. I would hate to have you think... That you murdered Hector? You don't think that. Oh, you did. Do you? I... Uh, no. <sighs> no, it had to be too good to be true. Papa Ernesto, my blessing? Security! Oh. Take care of Miguel. He'll be extending his stay. No. Success oh. doesn't come for free, Miguel. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes to seize your moment. What so, is this trash? So there's our villain. I didn't think we were going to have one. What a twist. What? No. Everything was going so well. I was like, are they really not going to have an antagonist yeah. really in this movie? I, it, that's why I immediately thought, too, is everything was too good to be true. Yep. Help! Help! I want to go home! That giant tiger lion. That's our lion. last hope here. Yeah. Hector? Kid? Oh, Hector! I should have come back to my family. Hey. But I didn't listen. Hey, okay. I told them I didn't care if they remembered me. I didn't care if I was on their stupid ofrenda. I told them I didn't care. Oh, oh no. It's being forgotten. Forgetting me, my daughter. I just wanted to see her again. I never should have left Santa Cecilia. I wish I could tell her that her papa was trying to come home. My Coco. What? Coco? It was him? He was standing there with the guitar? Where did you get this? He's That's his my great... mama Coco? Yeah. That's my mama Imelda? It was him. Is that... That's him. You? We're... Family? Family. Family. Oh! <laughs> That's like two major twists in like ten minutes. What? This movie. And and who brought him together? It was Dante. I thought at least one day I'd see her here. Just give him his blessing. Go, yeah. go. We still got to get out of there. But she's oh, the last person who remembers yeah. me. Oh, Coco's the last person. Oh, yeah, she's, it, she's fading. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wrote her a song once. We used to sing it every night. What I wouldn't give to sing it to her. Remember me. That's his song. Yep. Remember me. For even if I'm far away, I remember me. He wrote it first. Ugh. 
right in the feelings, oh. guys. <laughs> yeah, and he was wanted to go home and choose family over be a musician. You should be the one the world remembers, not De La Cruz. I wrote it for, for Coco. Coco. I'm a pretty sorry excuse for a great-great-grandpa. Are you kidding? A minute ago, I thought I was related to a murderer. You're a total <laughs> upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud we're family. <laughs> Dante? Ibelda? You look good. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, you gotta explain it. Yeah. You are a real spirit guide. Who's I a good you. spirit guide? <laughs> you are. Oh, oh, he's turning. Wings. <laughs> 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 Thank goodness we found you in time. How many times must I turn you away? He spends five minutes with you and I have to fish him out of a sinkhole. I wasn't in there because of Hector. He was in there because of me. Nothing is more important than family. Family. Ready to accept your blessing and your conditions. But first, I need to find De La Cruz to get Hector's photo. What? So he can see Coco again. Hector should be on our ofrenda. He's part of our family. De La Cruz murdered him. It's true, Imelda. And so what if it's true? You leave me alone with a child to raise and I'm just supposed to forgive you? Imelda, I... Oh. oh. Hector? It's Coco. She's forgetting you. You don't have to forgive him. We shouldn't forget him. I'm sorry, Imelda. If we help you get his photo, you will return home. No more music. Family comes first. I can't forgive you, but I will help you. All right. <laughs> Just like he said. Where's the music he suggested? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone clear on the plan? Find it. Just follow. Give it to Miguel. Send Miguel home. Got your pedals? Don't I know you? Oh, <laughs> for mothering the love of my life! I'm the love of your life. I don't know. I'm still angry at you. <laughs> <laughs> Hits him again. You're related to Hector? The photo! <laughs> ah, <okay. laughs> no, Lord. I'm so hands. mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that helps out one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh. oh. <laughs> Get her off the stage. <laughs> Gotta sing again. De mi llorona. Llorona. <laughs> Stage right. <laughs> I forgot what that felt like. You still got it. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. okay. We gotta, we gotta go. <laughs> Miguel, I give you my blessing to put up our photos and to never, never play music again. Forget how much your family loves you. Yes! Oh. Okay, grab it before Dela Cruz can mess it up. You're not going uh, anywhere. Come on! Imelda! Stay back. Stay back. All of you. Daddy! I've worked too hard, Hector. Too hard oh, to let you destroy everything. It. He's a living child, Ernesto. He's a threat. You think I'd let him go back to the land of the living with your photo to keep your memory alive? No. You're a coward.
murdered. I am Ernesto de la Cruz. You're just the guy who murdered him and stole his songs. Murdered? Whatever it takes. Ah! Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is our, our, our big lion going to swoop in? Come on, Dante. Or Dante, the other one. The, the big lion. <laughs> oh, ah, no. ah, come on. No. Oh. There we go. I right, gotta get the photo. Get, get the, the photo. No. Oh, not in the water. Oh no, no, no. Oh no. Please, please, mi familia. <laughs> oh. 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 O
Uh, pretty good. That uh, was outstanding. <sighs> All right. Oh, wow. Wow. Ooh. I know we don't <laughs> often start right off the wow. the rip like this, but uh, the one word that comes to mind for this is perfection. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm so glad that I watched this. Thank you so much to all of you out there on Patreon and YouTube members for recommending this. I mean, where do I even begin? I think I've got notes about this thick, <laughs> but you know, obviously with the whole story about Miguel and following your dreams and this movie took so many twists and turns, even with the messages that it had in it, because, um, and I'm going to jump around a little bit here, so forgive me, but we originally thought when Miguel got to the spirit world that Dela Cruz was his great, great grandfather. And he was telling him a story of like, Hey, sometimes, you know, when you want to follow your dreams, uh, your dreams are going to take you away from your family, but to chase them, sometimes you have to leave some things behind. And now that's a hard message, but I think anybody who's, uh, you know, achieved at an incredibly high level, whether it be musician or athlete or actor, or whatever it might be, I think they could attest to that. And there, there's some truth there. So I'm like, okay, I mean, you know, a, a bit of a, you know, odd message, I guess for this case, but it does make sense. And then we got a twist that Dela Cruz was not his father at all oh my it god was Hector. No. we had that twist no and then not only with that twist we found out that Dela cruz is the one that took hector out so that he could take all his songs that he wrote for coco and make himself uh you know get into that world of fame so then you have the the old adage of well you know yeah. never meet your heroes oh and, yeah you know Dela cruz was miguel's hero forever and, and he met him and that that old sediment rang true so i mean i I just blown away by the number of twists and turns they threw at this and, and how they kept it so fresh. And Dante was for me, the absolute star of the show. I, I love that dog. I thought it was <laughs> fantastic. Uh, you know, maybe the next movie will be just about Dante. I, I, so too, uh, so I hope not, but no, just all jokes aside, an incredibly positive and uplifting, uh, you know, movie with, you know, the, the way they, and I liked how, for if you're somebody who maybe doesn't know all the history or the meanings behind the Day of the Dead, the way it's celebrated here, I kind of like how they they used other characters to kind of educate you about it and kind of help you take the ride so you can understand it. And uh, I thought that was great because it's such a positive, uplifting, and really powerful way to look at you know people who have passed and and how they've gone on and how you remember them i mean what an absolute just mm. banger of a movie yeah. to put you in a good mood to give you any kind of like like hope or, or good feelings about you know people that you know may have passed and just uh, just a fantastic way to remember people and to celebrate them uh, just an absolute banger of a movie yeah uh yeah, that's uh, the, like you say that about remembering people. That's great, you know. The whole, having the pictures up, I knew nothing about this uh, this holiday that they celebrate, and it was just amazing to get the you know the little backstory on it. But Anthony Gonzalez as Miguel, from his singing to his the voice acting to everything, he did a great job, and this was just so much fun. A lot of twists, cool. a lot of turns. A lot of great music, a lot of great animation. I mean, I there's I don't think there's anything wrong with this movie. No. I think this <laughs> it's this perfection. movie is great. I mean, <laughs> and I'm looking and I see Benjamin Bratt as Ernesto, and it's like, yep, that's right. He he <laughs> he loves to be the bad guy sometimes in some of these in some of these movies, but he was. It was just an exceptional job by everybody in the cast, the crew, the editing, the animation was just all top notch. I mean, even our good good pal John Ratzenberger made a made his <laughs> his standard <laughs> appearance as he's in every Pixar. Oh, yeah. we love so it. So this, I don't know what I. There's nothing wrong with this movie. This movie's amazing. It makes you think about, you know, are your lost relatives still watching you? Are they still thinking about you? So, like you think about them. You know, 
It's you just know, such a positive message. Yeah. Just like, so heartwarming. It's, it's, you know, it's fun to think, you know, kind of fun <laughs> to think that, you know, your great, great grandpa is with your great, great grandpa is with your great grandpa, all just hanging out, you know, watching you live and comes to see you once, you know, a year and see how your life is, is going and making sure that you're loved and seeing that they're still remembered. So that is just, that was just a great message to this movie. And I absolutely loved it. Yeah. I, I did have one like glaring problem with this movie. Oh, glaring. And that is that it did not come with a warning <laughs> that you should have a box of Kleenex candy yeah, yeah. for the last 10 minutes of the movie. Oh, my God, uh, yeah. That is my one gripe about this movie <laughs> in all the movies Fair that enough. we've watched on this channel. Um, if any of them should have came with a warning, it was this one. Um, uh, I was a wreck the last 10 minutes of this movie. Um, so... Um, my dad, as I've said before um, on this channel, he passed uh, two years ago. He had an accident that caused some severe brain trauma, so we never got to say proper goodbyes. It was a beautiful last day, family reunion. You literally couldn't write his last day any better, but tomorrow is one week from his birthday, so me and my family are you know, kind of going through some stuff. We were talking about dad today, so the, the timing of this all... <laughs> yeah, like, perfect. Gotta, yeah. Oh, try to get through the review. Um... It's crazy because, like Mason Quinn brought up, you know, we're watching the beginning of this movie, and I'm making like my notes, right? Like, uh, have faith in your dream, mm -hmm. seize your moment, and I'm making like all these notes from Ernesto de la Cruz, and like they 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 send you on this path, like, you know, like chase your dreams, go after yeah. it. Like he went after it, and and Mason Quinn is is very correct. I mean, if you take anybody and you talk about people who really go after it, whether it be music or acting or I, I have to travel a lot for my job. And, you know, there was a couple of years where I was on the road, you know, 25, 30 weekends a year. And, and, and granted, it was weekends and stuff like that, not weeks at a time, but it's difficult. And anybody who knows country music, uh, John Denver wrote a beautiful song, uh, Leaving on a Jet Plane. And the song is about leaving the people you love to do the work that you do. And so it's it's a very real thing. And, and I guess I bring that up because because it doesn't seem disingenuine, really, mm -hmm. um, when they're talking about Ernesto mm -hmm. and kind of going away to play his music. Yep. Um, of course, there's the, the leaving your family and stuff, which you don't just leave him permanently. <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of like mixed feelings um, about Ernesto. But he did pass with the you know the bell hitting him. So you're like, okay, it's an untimely death. So it's not like it's not like he just left forever. He had he had a terrible accident. So they didn't really make you like dislike this guy at first mm -hmm. you know and then um you know uh you know hector would have had no way of of knowing um hector that's it right that's the yeah, okay yep yeah hector okay. is is, like, is miguel's like true, true. yeah hector, great, 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 i'm a charming great, great, trickster yeah. these last 10 minutes of the movie had me <laughs> yeah, a complete were, mess i'm not yeah. sure how much of it's gonna make the cut but, you know, Hector the whole time, you know, he would have had no way of knowing Miguel mm -hmm. was his relation. No. Um, y you know, and um, he, it was just it was such a beautiful story in, in the spirit world of, of the people and being, you know, in, in the, you know, how sad it is when somebody is forgotten. And it's interesting, like, and I made a note about, about my grandfather because my dad... Um, spoke very highly of my grandfather my grandfather was uh he was an incredible human being did a lot of work in his community i, mean, I know everybody you know tries to hold their grandparents in very high regard but my grandfather did a lot for the community um was was a very well respected and loved individual my dad told him a lot of stories and i'm like well i don't know how many you know how often i'm going to talk to my son mm -hmm. about my grandpa, you know, I, I tell my son all the time, he's, he's, he's almost three, but I tell him all the time about, we have pictures of my dad holding my son and, you know, I tell him all the time about my grandpa and, or his grandpa and stuff like that. But it's like, you know, uh, you know, and, and my dad, uh, maybe a small handful of times told me about his grandfather. And it's, it's weird. Cause like you think about that and it's like, I don't have pictures of my great grandparents. My dad had pictures of his grandparents at his house. So my dad had pictures up on the wall of his parents and his grandparents. And I have pictures of, of my parents, but I don't have pictures of my dad's grandparents. Mm -hmm. it's like it, this movie really makes you think and it, and it really reminds you 
of what a beautiful holiday and a beautiful tradition that they have there. And I, if I'm being like honest, it almost like, you know, we have Memorial Day here for um, soldiers who've lost their life. And, and, and I think we try to remember people on their birthdays or the day they passed, but we don't really have a day here in the United States that just celebrates all the people that we've lost. And it kind of makes me sad that we don't. When you look at this beautiful tradition, all the things that they do to remember their family and whether you're a spiritual person or not, this is a, a, just a really beautiful tradition. So, I, you know, I've heard of it and I know uh, um, I, I know that it's a holiday and I know that they honor people, but I didn't know all the details. Yeah, of it. yeah as same. Far as, as far same. as their mindset behind it, like you put out the pictures and as long as the pictures are out, they're remembered and they can come visit people. And and what a what a beautiful holiday. But, you know, you get into the you get into the, the end of it and you find out that um, Ernesto wants to be remembered because he wants the fame and he wants yeah, the man. accolades that's yep. his thing he throws this big party yep. right and everybody he, they show Whole the thing where, they yep. show the thing where i i have so many people putting out stuff to remember me i don't even know what to do with it and here hector's about to fade away and he doesn't care about who remembers him other than his daughter like that's what he that's cares all he about. wanted he doesn't care about the fame he doesn't care about the fortune he was leaving the life of all that to go back home yep. to his daughter and to his family, they never knew it. And you know, his his you know, and his 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 wife brings up a good point. Like you still laughed when I had a baby yeah. daughter. So he he didn't like completely try to make it in the clear, but he he was coming home. And I, I think that was so beautiful that Ernesto he wanted all this this, and and all Hector wanted to do was go home and and see his girl again. And then we learn that the famous song "Remember yeah. Me" that Miguel was singing wasn't that for the world. Hector worldwide. wrote that, and yeah. it wasn't for everybody. Um, I love the ending. Oh, when Miguel the was ending, playing, like oh. Miguel, Miguel, well, yeah. So I, yeah. If, yeah. What, what a wreck I was. I'm still <laughs> yeah. I'm making it through the review pretty good, but the last handful of minutes, I. Uh, not, that's where I needed those Kleenex. But when he was playing Remember Me and she started singing along, it like this movie also hit extra hard because my uh, my stepmom, my dad's wife of over 30 years, she had Alzheimer's. And it got to the point where, and my grandma had Alzheimer's too, it got to the point where they don't remember you. So that hit home for me. My, my grandma had Alzheimer's and one of my uncles used to go with the photo albums and go through albums and stuff mm. and every once in a while she would remember people i i went to see my grandma often she thought my mom was her sister and we just went with it yeah. right like she thought one time i was her brother i just went with it mm. you know but she, she remembered certain people and every once in a while she would look at the picture of my grandpa next to the wall at her nursing home and say you know that was that was Norbert that was my husband and, and like my uncle like lived for those moments yeah she just remembered. to get that spark but yeah. it got to the point where she just didn't anymore mm -hmm. where that where that was gone and so that hit extra hard because I've seen that with my my grandmother and my stepmom so so that was very relatable and I think it's relatable to a lot of people I mean there's so many people out there who have had family members or loved ones either with Alzheimer's or dementia and it's like when you see them forgetting that's hard um but all around, I, guys, I got to be honest, like we've watched a lot of like animated movies with really, really beautiful messages. And I think this, like, I, I really loved Up. I think that yeah. was a, a beautiful yep. story about, you know, life and stuff like this. So I'm not going to say it's better, but this is right up there with, this is one of the best movies I've ever watched, hands down. It was a beautiful story, a story about family, a story about love, mm -hmm. a story about how... And, and, and another really thing is, and this is a kind of like a cliche saying, you know, we saw it in Harry Potter, we've seen it in a ton of movies, like the people that you love are never really gone as long as you remember them. And that was the big thing of this movie and the big thing of this holiday. And, uh, and I think that's the thing, though, because that, that's very often said, but when you see it play out in, yeah, in the Day of the Dead yeah. celebrations and the way it's done and the way it was explained to us, I think that's what makes a hit extra home. Cause like, you know, it, it's again, it's, it's the, yeah, remember them. Okay. Yeah. We try to, like you said, birthdays and whatever it might be. But when you have that actual holiday and then everybody's in on it and everybody's there, your family's all together and they, and they make it a, and the, it's a big deal. And the other thing that I really love is, is from what I've seen, um, and I'm not going to pretend I'm some sort of cultural expert, but from what I've seen, they do make it a celebration. Mm -hmm. 
right? Like they make it a celebration. Yeah, they have parades, they have fun, and stuff. And yeah, happy to remember. So it's not some sort of somber. They're not. They're not all like me right now. <laughs> um, it's not some sort of somber thing. Yeah. So I, this move, I just yep. to everybody who recommended this, I would not have watched this movie. I I, yeah. I, I wouldn't never have. Never even heard of you know, it. I, I've no. never even heard of it. I, I know it's obviously popular with Disney. Um, it's not even something that I, I think, you know, with my little guy right now, it's all dinosaurs and cars and toy stories. So I don't know that I would have watched this. This is one of the most beautiful pieces of filmmaking I have ever seen yep. in my entire life. Well, well, there's a reason yeah, I made $814 million. Exactly. <laughs> uh, answer for me, Oak for me, this is uh, the easiest five out of five answers in my opinion, this is the best animated movie we've done on this channel. Hands down, five out of five for me, and just an incredible, I mean, incredible. There can be a 1A and a 1B or whatever, but yeah, this is also a five for me. I mean, <laughs> I if there's any question. <laughs> I mean, come on. This movie was beautifully done. The work everyone did, it, it just hit, it hit all the, hit every, yep. every feeling you needed. Just yeah. think it should come with a warning for Kleenexes. Yeah, that's that's right. all. Five out of five wow. answers for me. And I think, you know, if I have to sit down and really think, like I said, up hit very close to home. And there's, you know, the speech that um, Hiccup gave in How to Trade in Your Dragon Part 2 hit very close to home. I think this is the best animated film not that we've just watched. I'm, I'm right now. Maybe I'm a little emotional because my dad's birthday is coming up. I think this is the best animated film I've ever seen. And, well, there you and, go. And a big shout out to all of obviously all the cast and crew, mm -hmm. the animators, yes. the writers, yeah. directors, they everybody who took part on this. You absolutely delivered. Huge thumbs up to all of you. Always fun watching a great movie like this that can hit every one of the feels. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. Get those pictures up and remember the dead. Good night, pals. Oh. Ugh.